In this lesson, we're going to learn about simple interest. So first of all, uh, you know, what is interest? Well, it comes up in really two situations. One, in, one is uh, if you invest money, um, say in a bank account um, or something like that, uh, you will earn interest. Or if you borrow money uh, from somebody, you will usually pay interest. Okay, and so the way to think of interest is in the case of investing, um, you know, say in a bank account, like a CD account at a bank, uh, the bank is going to pay you money for the privilege of borrowing your money, essentially, because when you put money in the bank, you're essentially loaning them money for them to work with. And then if you take out a loan, um, then the reason you pay interest is because you are paying the institution you're borrowing from for the privilege of using their money. Okay, and so that's really what interest is. Um, and so we use percents to calculate interest, and so that's how it fits in with what we've been doing this whole chapter. So a couple of vocabulary terms to start with. Um, the principal, um, which we'll uh, identify with the symbol P, uh, the principal of a loan or an investment is the amount borrowed or invested. Okay, so if I invest $500, that's my principal. If I borrow $1,000, that's my principal. The rate of a loan um, is the annual interest rate, um, or it's the percentage of the loan or investment that will accrue in one year. Okay, so um, basically after one year, you'll earn some interest and so the rate of the loan is what percent of the principal that interest actually is. Uh, and then uh, so to put all this together the amount of simple interest and I'll explain that word simple in a moment but the amount of simple interest earned after t years when p dollars is invested is i equals p r t where R is the decimal or fraction form of the annual interest rate. So just like in our percent equation, uh, the word percent represented the decimal or fraction form of the percent. Uh, the same thing is happening here with the rate. So the reason I'm using the word simple interest is because uh, there's something called compound interest, which we won't really cover here, uh, that is a, is a different type of interest. And basically the, the difference between the two is that with simple interest, you will only earn money based off of the original amount you put in. Whereas with compound interest, um, every year or every period of time that interest builds up, you get to earn interest on previously earned interest. So that's just the difference there and that's why we call it simple interest. And so this formula for simple interest is really the one we're going to be focusing on um, in this section. So let's use this formula um, in this context right here. It says how much simple interest is earned on $500 invested for three years at 6%. Okay. So what are they asking us to find? They're asking us to find the simple interest. So that's the I in our formula. So what's P? Well, P is the principal or the amount invested in this case. So my P is 500. Um, and then R, remember, is the decimal form of the interest rate. So instead of 6, I'll put 0 0.06. And then T is the number of years. So we put three years in there. So we go through and multiply all this out. So I'll take 500 times 0 0.06. And there are two decimal points, so that's giving me a decimal point there. So I equals 30 times 3, but then 30 times 3 is 90, so $90. So if you're earning 6% interest and you invest $500 after three years, after three years, $90 in simple interest is earned. 